In this lesson, we're going to finish off the lid to the dumpster. All right, so we've built out the base forms for our dumpster. And before we go any further, we want to make sure that the lid is sitting perfectly on top of the rim, exactly how we would want it to be presented. So I could go ahead and drag this straight down and position that, but I've already positioned it in a way that I like. So I want to make sure that I set it down in the local direction. And let's just pull that straight down in the Z to where that lat, um, rests right on top of that rim there. Now, if you take a look at it, if we hit F3, you'll notice that it's got just a little bit, uh, it's just a little off here. So I'm going to set that up a little bit higher, right at this point here. And then we're going to grab our rotation tool and turn off angle snapping and just rotate that just a little bit more. into position and let's try to get that lined up the best that we can. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect at this point but we want to be close. Alright so now that we have this we're now ready to go ahead and build out uh, the part that's going to over uh, hang on the bar itself. So to get started we already have the polygon set up that we want Okay, for the most part they're right here. We're going to use these three. Um, however, there's just a little bit too much polygon there. So what I want to do is go ahead and create a segment right across the center here. And I'm going to select those edges, selecting that ring, and use connect. Let's do one segment for this. And you know what, actually let's do two. Let's make sure that we have a little bit of a gap off of the end of that. So I'm going to take this amount down and let's bring it to about 60 or so. Now I know that that value might be a little bit different for you, but try to get the kind of the same proportions here. So now that we're finished with that, let's go ahead and close this and hit OK. And now let's take those polygons that we've just created and we're going to extrude those up. So I'm going to extrude it and I'm going to bring it right up to the top of that bar. Okay, so there we go. Let's hit OK on that and turn off polygon mode. Now one issue that I see here is that the bar is not centered on this form here. So let's pull that back in the X, making sure that we're in our local reference coordinate system. And let's pull that back. And let's try that to get that as centered as possible. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and try to pull that up just a little bit, just a hair. Okay, And there we go. So now we've got these uh, parts that are going around the bar, but now we have a couple of issues. Uh, first issue that we have is that the top is not rounded. Okay, um, It doesn't look quite right. Second issue that we have is that it's going straight into the geometry. Now if we were modeling this for a game or something like that, this might be okay. But we're not really taking that stance. We're not taking um, that idea with this modeling uh, in this case. Uh, we're trying to give it more of a realistic feel but still staying kind of on the simple side. Okay, so we don't get into high poly modeling or anything like that. So I want to create the holes for this and there has to be a way to do so. Okay, so uh, a couple of ways that we can think about this is we could use inset, but using inset that's only going to give us a square. Another thing that we could do is we could go ahead and uh, round this out okay, and try to inset that. Um, but we might have a few issues even with that problem there. So the next thing that we can do is we can actually use a spline to kind of guide us and we can cut the holes out that we need for this. So let me show you what I mean by this. Let's go ahead and isolate this object. Okay, This is going to um, isolate it out and let's go to our front view by hitting F. Okay, um, At this point let's go ahead and go to our create panel, shapes, and here you see that we have a circle. If I come in and create a circle, I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to get fairly close to about the same size as that bar that we have. 
Um, if you need to, you can turn off isolation mode, and you can see that that is fairly close. Let's go ahead and move that circle or that line into position here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take that lid and that line, TID F3, make sure you hold down control and select the line as well, and turn on isolate mode. And now with that circle, let's pull this out. Okay, and I'm going to put it right out here on the front. Now with this circle selected, um, we have our radius set. And what I want to do is I want to go to my interpolation, and I want to take these steps down. By taking this down, you'll see that we get a circle that's a little faceted, and it's going to be easier to work with. And I want to make sure that we're down at uh, steps one. Let's go ahead and take this object, and in our front view, I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to rotate this to where basically these points right here are pointing at the top, right here at the middle. Now you don't have to be perfect, just want to be close. Okay, so now that I have this line, this is going to give me a template that I can cut on for this object. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my snap tools to help me out with this cutting process. So I'm going to go to uh, snap and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to bring up my snap options. Right now my snapping is only going to be activated on the grid points. Let me turn that off and let me switch this to vertex. Let's go ahead and close that and now I'm going to go to vertex mode and I'm going to right click and cut and notice that I get this yellow cross um, that comes up and it starts snapping on the circle. What I can do here is I can start out at this vertex and I can left click and make a cut and then I'm going to go out to this one and it makes a, a vertex and I'm going to go to each corner of that circle. I'm cutting a cylindrical shape out of this polygon. Okay, So now that I have that Let's right click and let's pull that back there and you'll see that we've made a cut along this object. Let's go ahead and get rid of that circle okay, or hide it for right now. So I'm going to right click hide selection and now we have uh, the circle that we can go ahead and uh, delete and get the other side. Now we need that same polygon on the other side. So here we're, uh, we have another dilemma. Well what we can do is we can unhide that circle. So unhide um, all or you can unhide by selection, doesn't matter. Um, let's actually do unhide by name. And I believe that was circle 001. We'll unhide that, there we go. And let's take that circle and let's turn off our snap and let's move that to the other side. Let's get it as close as to the surface as we can. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back, I'm going to right click and cut. Let's make sure our snap toggle is on. Let's go from this vertex up here at the top and we'll cut from here to here and all the way around just like we did before. Alright, so right click to end your cut. Let's take that circle and we're going to hide it again. And there we have our polygons. Now what we can do is we need to take care of these polygons that are on the outside. We've created end gons essentially. We're not worried about the inside, just the outside. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to cut from this vertex to here and then I'll cut across from here to here. But we'll do that here in just a moment. Let's leave that alone. Let's cut from this corner to here, here to there, and let's do it on the other side as well. Okay. Now you might be asking me, okay, what are we going to do with these um, outside edges and then also through the top? I'll show you here in just a moment. 
So we want to make sure that we have that circle set up and we want to make sure that we have quads. We don't have any of these end gons. So let's take, let's turn off our cut tool really quickly. Let's take these edges right along the front and then also on the back. Oops. And with those edges, let's use connect. Let's do one segment and set our pinch to zero and our slide to zero and we'll hit OK. Now we can go to vertex mode and select these vertices and use connect to connect those together. Okay, Or we could use cut. Either way we'll be fine. Now we have the top and the bottom to deal with and we're going to do that same thing. Now this time what I'm going to do is I know that we had that circle there but um, I need to create a cut that goes all the way down the middle of this and I can't do that by holding down uh, shift and selecting that ring so it's going to pose a little bit of an issue and it's all because of these vertices right here let's remove those let's hit backspace to get rid of those now we'll get that circular shape back here in just a moment with those selected let's hit backspace and now let's go to edge mode and select this top edge and we're going to hit ring. Okay, now it only goes to this point right here. It doesn't go all the way through. So we're going to select this edge and then hit ring again. And that will go all the way through now. Okay, let's do the same thing here. Now we can hit connect. And we've created a line that goes right through the center. Now let's go to vertex mode and select those new vertices that we've just created and let's scale those out. Let's make sure that we scale along the local in our Y. We'll scale that out until we get our circle again. If it helps, what you could do is you could right click and unhide by name and unhide that circle and you can use that as a guide. So let's scale that down just a little bit and let's match that to that circle again. And there we go. So now let's take those polygons and let's delete those. Okay. Now what we can do is we can go to border mode and we'll bridge. Now it looks like we had a few too many borders selected. Sorry about that. And now let's bridge that. There we go. So now we've created our shape. Now at this point what we'll do is we'll grab this uh, set of borders across the top and we'll move those straight up and we're going to round that out but let's turn off our um, snap toggle here sorry about that we'll pull that up it starts to round that out uh, let's take just this uh, two edges right here we're not going to worry about the others at the moment I'll show you a trick here in just a second so with these selected, let's go to vertex mode. Let's convert our selection. So hold down control and let's scale those in the X. And you can see how this is beginning to become a little more round. Okay. So now that we have that shape, we need to do that for the rest of these. Now, we don't want to go through all that work. We've already created one element. So there has to be a way that we can copy this element and we can move it over to the other side. So how do we do that? Well, what we're going to do in our next lesson is we're going to uh, talk about how to duplicate and duplicate effectively while 3D modeling. So I'll see you in the next lesson.